We took a short break there, and you're watching Bangkok Chit Chat with Andrew and Andy. Uh, we're with Paul Jackson. Very interesting. Uh, we were talking about radio here in Thailand now. Weren't yeah, we? and Andrew asked me about, no, there's nothing anymore. And I think the last one was Wave of M88, which we which were both, I, on, both which on, which was a yeah. lot of fun. And that, great fun. That was probably mm. five years ago now. Was it? Yeah. Maybe about wow. five when that finished. And since then, no one, no one wants to pay the money that the rent, no. they're still demanding a million baht plus per month for a new station and it's yeah. not a lot of the established Thai stations are now getting more listeners online than they do on yeah. FM and I'm not saying any names but no no and then a couple have actually dropped their FM yeah frequency and, and added a million baht to their bottom line straight away I mean I listen to yeah. 107 and and I, I think yes good station DJ's okay it's in Thai but da 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 they're doing a good radio job but how can they sell their airtime because what sponsor, in all fairness, thinks it's worth it? Well, well they still listen on their cars. We, 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 we had this discussion even about this show, yeah? uh, mm -hmm. about uh, an opportunity we had to go on radio. And the, the point is that people actually want to listen to something on demand. If they could actually download a podcast, a show, mm -hmm. or something like that, and they put it in their car and they know that it's going to be this mm -hmm. show, yeah. uh, they're going to listen to it. Rather yeah. than, I better be you know, wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning to yeah, watch yeah. this. Or, oh, no. or, or, yeah, or, or, I mean, I watch yeah. V-Blogs podcasts and that go out live, yeah. England time, 8 o'clock in the evening. I watch them the next day. Lovely. But if it was, if that wasn't available, it's only live, they've lost me and millions of others as yeah, well. Okay. So, so the podcasting is, is a very it's, important thing. It's the same thing. with TV, terrestrial TV. Uh, now it's going to a lot of digital TV and there's been mm -hmm. a whole lot of issues in the, in the, uh, in, in the media about, you know, they, they go in and they bid for it and then say, but I haven't got the money to pay for it. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, it's like the old idea, oops, don't only catch me if I, if yeah. I'm, only give me into trouble if I'm caught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, attitude. But with uh, YouTube and, and well now Google is starting now. They're doing a Netflix Google. That's the latest thing I read about oh, yesterday. Movies, movies on demand. Yeah, everything else. Da, well, da, 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 basically, da, da. because Google is the YouTube lead, anyway. Uh, yeah, Google is the search engine. The largest search engine and the second largest is YouTube. Yeah, and they uh, it, YouTube yeah. is owned by Google. Right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah so but the um, it's a monopoly. Uh, well, I mean, there's obviously other shareholders and things involved. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, everything's changing to digital and on demand. Yeah. yeah, but unfortunately, I think Thailand is, I'm afraid to say this, well behind on this one again. Um, we still haven't got digital radio in Thailand. I mean, that's almost blase in other countries. They're still, they're still fighting and squabbling about that. When you, even when you see the radio name in the car, I think it's, I forget what it's called, FDC or something. Have the name, Dab, isn't it? The name of the, uh, the channel and what they're playing. In Thailand, they sell that to someone else, so they don't, they'll never they'll never supply that with the FM frequency. They sell it off to someone else and rent it to somebody else, which again is a bit silly. Um, with the play it again and things like that, the copyright laws are so archaic that if you oh. if you wanted to do like the breakfast show and have a play it again function, they'll just say, oh yes, absolutely, you can do that, and pick a number out of a hat, like another hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand a month yeah. for you to to do that, to have that privilege. Now that's just ridiculous. They mm. just pull these numbers out there. I don't. So it's yeah. like everything else to do with radio here seems to be stuck. In but the, does that in not, the past. couldn't because it's radio or because it's di uh, on the digital site? People could tune in through the internet and not have to go through. Well, you can do that at least here from you know. From well, that's what I think a lot of people do. I mean, I keep saying about my son, but and his friends and all that. I I listen to. Uh, I'm in his car and he'll be listening to Radio One. Of course, you know, just streaming it through his phone, through of his course, car. And then and everybody that. will be doing that. They've got the choice then. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of people still want to have an FM station. And if you have an FM station, but it needs to be it needs to be available on on you know on demand really to be mm, yeah mm, mm, to mm. be super duper because no one cares about. I, I think there there is a still a need for a, a community radio. Oh yeah, if it's done it properly, sense. community radio, not well, as not, in the technical term. No, community oh. in the sense of playing music, but talking about stuff that's well, happening somebody, around you. Unless and someone's going to overhaul the complete radio industry, as in terms of the licenses and the copyrights, it will never happen. Mm. Here, unfortunately, here. Right. Okay. Um, okay. For example, and I'll give you a very brief example of this. I was thinking about setting up a, an, an internet radio station, only internet radio station, uh, with the listen again opportunity and the full thing, right? But no FM at all. Mm. Um, I, I think last quote I had was from the several different societies and, and every record label to get it. We ended up costing several million baht a year. Okay, for all of the different permissions, right? 
the same license in the UK or Europe to do exactly the same thing is £69 a year, which is uh, seven fours of 28, 2,800 bucks. I mean, that's and, that's, and you can, and you can make as, uh, and you can do as much as you want, but your revenue is capped at about twenty thousand pounds mm. for the yeah. year. Then you pay a bit more, but that's a good. Start. That fee mm. is decided by Thai, Thailand, right? Or different people in society. It's strange yeah. considering the Thailand, Thailand yeah. with yeah. The, the, not the sixty-eight pound one, no. which you can it's just do online and press one, yeah. a button and print out your yeah. license and start broadcasting. Which is amu- is ironic. So, so why can you just subscribe <coughs> as, as a Brit? Yeah. Why can you subscribe from your key and do that? But you could, but then you couldn't really talk about things in Thailand. You can't you can't hide behind the fact that you're broadcasting it from the UK or America because if you're saying and going after advertisers in Bangkok, you couldn't really do that. No. Well, you you could. I, I see what you mean. Until they come knocking on the door. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, excuse me. I'll just be on the next plane to have yeah, a meeting. So with you might it. get away yeah. with them a couple of years. But right? it's ironic. It's ironic that it costs Always so play straight. Always it, play straight. Quite, quite, you know. it, it costs so much in a country that flaunted the copyright rules for so long, well, but with piracy. Absolutely. You, so for for years. Mm. Piracy was rife. I, I worked mm. for a record label. So, um, Paul was an um, MD of uh, BMG Records. Mm. And our biggest problem was, because it was all cassette in those days, yes, wasn't, uh-huh. CDs did come in when I was there, but yeah. it, the main, you yeah, know, yeah, Australia yeah. would be selling 80,000 cassettes of Kylie Minogue or, or Jason Donovan or whatever it was. But Peacock here was selling yeah. like 250,000 of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for about 10, 20, how much were they? 20 baht? You could buy them on the side of the street. That's right, you could see them square. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah, much money did they make? A great deal of money. Mm. Well, look, without mentioning yeah, well, a certain of, label yeah. here, not a certain shop here that's got a branch everywhere were one of the biggest pirates, they, but they went clean and they cleaned up their act. Yeah. And came, it, it know, something like Wang legitimate. Tong, wasn't it? There you but go. I said Wang Tong. Awesome. Rhymes with Wang Tong, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, when someone takes a, a no, no, it was it went from eight track, yeah, uh, records, uh, eight track, and then cassettes, and then to DVD. Uh, no, hang on, DAT was in there somewhere. No, it was only for professionals. For professionals. Oh, okay, for and the then, consumer. And yeah. Then uh, now people are just downloading it. MP4. Uh, I mean, yeah. HMV in the UK now is going to administration. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? Uh, because basically people are not buying DVDs. They they, they, they download it. it. As you said, it's a Netflix streaming world that we live in. But uh, I think it's going to be changing. It. It's, it's like. When we're making a making a video or something, we've got music attached to it, or we're using mm. uh, uh, basically, mm. let's say, uh, stock footage. Yeah? There's always a watermark on it, right? So in music, you always have certain noises in the background, which mm. which basically is their watermark. Yeah. Right? What do so, you mean? Is there security that you don't sell it all? Yeah. Well, you can you can you can play it as long as you want, but it might it might have something like in the background at some point. Oh, yeah? right. oh really? Yeah. I didn't I didn't know. Yeah. So that's how they do do with with with, with sound. So I think. This is the the big thing now is that uh, within movies as well the cost of production movie which which relates back to radio and all media is that you're going to have two versions you're going to have one which is all clean mm. and another one which is adverts popping up which is free mm. yeah. oh right well, God, because, yeah. because because their revenue is come so they either get a revenue from the ad free version yeah. absolutely or they get it from their sponsors and give it to you for free Spotify Correct. is a classic example yeah yeah, yeah absolutely it's so annoying when you put on the why are you with Spotify? Have you used Spotify? Yeah, yeah. You use the sleep one. You want a bit of a nod. And sometimes you get boom. This thing comes in and completely wakes you up. Completely <laughs> stupid. I got yeah. Apple uh, tunes. <laughs> iTunes. Yeah, there we go. Apple Listen music. Listen to that Apple peaceful Google, yeah. music, and we're like, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You can have Apple music on Android. You know that. I don't know, man. Yeah, I've never, never held an Android well, device. Sorry. My, uh, well, my <laughs> son's got an iPhone thing, but and four, it's like the Netflix. I'm sure four that. people, no, four people, six hundred baht a month. Four people. All right. So you pay. I'm sure. Like, whatever, I'm sure there is. Baht, yeah. But thing is, he, he worked for a record label. I worked for a record Who label. Who did? You. Oh, I did. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. And um, the biggest thing was the internet was becoming uh, popular. I mean, it was still pretty basic back in those. But the major nightmare was what's going to happen when this is going to be the way that music is? How are we going to regulate it? And they were really, really worried. And I think there was a few years where it was a bit weird. Where we were in Thailand. Uh, well, anywhere, of, uh, instead of going to a shop and buying a, an album or a CD or whatever, 
you could get it now online. It didn't How are you going to regulate? Well, now it's. I mean, they've sewn it up. They've done it very. Well, it took about six or seven years here to, to start anything. Yes. Because, yes. You know, as it as copyrights and thing are complicated, but in Europe, Europe, iTunes and that downloads. Yeah. Been a, well, yeah, but I mean, when we were on a label years ago, there's a big difference. I mean, re records coming back, um, mm, vinyl. Uh, vinyl yeah. was coming back because the quality. Because when you download stuff to, for an iPhone, you'd not get the same quality of music. Well, I th it depends where you're downloading it from. Um, and what you're downloading. Two meg, two meg or, 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 or whatever it is. You'd have to have it through a, a very specialist sound system not to notice the difference in all fairness. Yeah. People yeah. say, I can hear a smile, you know, really? I, I, I don't know. I there, is a, there is from vinyl through a good sound system, you're absolutely right. But, but, there is a depth that yes. uh, people say is lacking with uh, digitally transferred music. But, uh, yeah, that's what they say, but I, I've never, no, well, I would actually like to, see, to have the experiment on these days and yeah. sit in front of a proper setup mm. and then an MP, so an MP3 download. I could have partially deaf from all my DJ uh, days. <laughs> no, so it also, also depends on the quality <laughs> of the, the ear, uh, headset you've got on, the speakers and the exactly. things like that. Yeah, exactly. It back to that. But uh, yeah, when you look at uh, a photograph, you look at uh, uh, for for the internet, mm, yeah, true. maybe it's fifty k, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but what you what you if you looked at that, compared that against something which was like Five fifty meg, yeah, or, or yeah, whatever yeah, it is, yeah, right. you got the definition. Well, we saw well, give you well, more. You know, we're, we're talking record stores here. You actually own one. I did. In the World uh, Trade, well, the right? World Trade Center. I think it was jam session. It was very popular with every DJ in Thailand. Mm. That's where we knew it from. That like I took, I bought it from the old yeah. owners, right? So every single vinyl. Playing DJ, which was everybody mm. in, Thai, yeah, in yeah. Thailand, yeah, used to come yeah. to the shop. Right? The Twelve miles, right? Yeah. yeah, used to have a DJ room at the back, and obviously yeah. I had cassettes and CDs. And there was enough DJs in clubs to to make it worth your while. Was there any private people come in? You know, like Thais that weren't DJs or affiliated to any yeah, club? Yeah, I wouldn't really know them, but they just buy records and all yeah. So you had those DVDs as well. You did, you, you did a focus on British. Later on, the man started out life as vinyl, right? Just just literally a vinyl shop for DJs. Mm. And then no, then I went. Then when when I bought the shop, and then we moved it to the World Trade Center because we were in MBK before. And then you know we set that shop yeah. up, and I imported all the racks and shop, shop fittings from the UK because Thailand didn't have any anything yeah. like that. Mm. There, wasn't, there wasn't a proper record shop. No. So it was set up with all the barcoding system from America. We set up as complete utter professional. Record. The nice lighting, the first one ever. It's in very Thailand. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I remember it. I remember so it. I had that for almost fourteen years, you basically did. before the World Trade Center was basically bought over by Central because they were made a mess in the financial crisis, mm -hmm. didn't they? Um, <clears throat> and then the rents went up from 150,000 to 500,000. So that was oh, a, that was the time to bow out, I think basically. they were really telling everybody to go away, yeah? Yeah, so I quite know what their discount diamonds and shops that can survive that kind of rent, I don't know. But um, I certainly couldn't do vinyl. The lucky if you're making 10%, 20% at best. So. Well, having said, you know, gone through all the jobs you've had, we haven't got time on this show to, to, to go into them, really. Um, you, you were a club manager at one time. What was the name of that? FM two to eight. Um, that was, was very that, brief. Where was that? Yeah. Ceylon Road in the United Centre. Oh right, okay. Um, but it didn't do very well. It was bad, badly themed or badly no, it run. It looked great. Or? It looked great. We had a restaurant, a big music area. Was it retro? Or was there something? We had, a, we had. A, there was four areas in there: karaoke, bar, restaurant, and disco. So oh. it was all right. But after after a year, I just. Didn't, didn't fancy it anymore, so I moved on. Basically. Well, working late. You went back. You went back to the UK. I went as well, back to the UK. I've been back to the UK three times. Um, in, um, <laughs> and now I come and go quite a bit. So you know, yeah, but you did. Uh, I'm bring this one up. You have left saying that's it. I'm sort of like I'm packing my bags. I think I'm on a jet plane. Places, it's a different. Well, I, so. I never have. But I, yes, you're right. People do do that. And the last time was oh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, you were go you were really sort of convinced that you were going to make the break. Well, no, what I do wrong. now, it doesn't mm. require physical presence anymore. Yeah, except coming to things like this, which I don't do very often. Mm. It doesn't. Uh, I mean, I build mobile apps nowadays and, and yeah. websites, so I actually have a laptop. I can do that anywhere, and I've got a new a new clientele base in the UK, and I will spend a few months there. Mm. Every every when I f when I feel like it, mm. yeah. perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But you came back to make your base in Thailand because you felt it was easier to live here because you knew it more. I mean, like me, I've lived longer in Thailand than anywhere else in the world, and I travelled as a DJ absolutely. But, more than a half our life. But this is your home, then. It is my home. Mm. But then I guess they're both of them my homes. To be yeah, honest. I'm, I'm the same as you. I mean, uh, I, I I wouldn't. 
I probably wouldn't move back to, mm. to Scotland. Mm. Um, but I, I say here as being my my other home. Uh, and right. when people talk about politics, they talk about different things that's happening here, I actually have a, a, a strong interest. I don't have the right to do or say anything about no, it, right. but I can amongst... Uh, yeah. ourselves. Perhaps yeah. not then today on camera. Not yes, no, no, no. But I class this as, a, as my home. Yeah. And, and, and even though we have to go through the visa situation, all these sort of things, which which is probably part of the reason we go, oh, I'm sick of this and yeah, going right, back. Yeah. Work can I, inter can I interject? Do you remember the old, old days of living here, getting the tax clearance? Tax clearance. Oh, oh so, yes. I See, still start to sweat thinking about that word. One of the great prime ministers was Anand Panarachun, who mm. thought that's nonsense, abolished, yeah. bang. And he did so many things just by yeah. going, that's nonsense, bang. And he, you know, you could only apply for it a few days before you left. You couldn't yeah. do it like a month in advance. No, no. You had to be like the day before. Yeah. And the chance of it, them agreeing, because you'd have a list of things that you needed yeah. to bring. And you'd all bring them and they go, yeah. Oh, and we need this. Well, it's not on the list. <laughs> no, it's like so you go it? home. Yeah, either go and get it, but the queue was like on one thousand and nine hundred yeah, now, and you, then you wouldn't go. Yeah, well, this, I was going to say that this ninety day thing, you, you can do it online. You can do it by post. post. Yeah. The online thing doesn't work half the time. So that means you've got to go. No, it doesn't go, work. Go, huh? The online thing I have found doesn't work at all. Yeah, well, no, I've used it. The post yeah. I've done. Yeah, yeah, but I've, I've used it in the past and oh, it did right. work. Yeah, uh, but now. You're going to spend a whole day waiting in a queue for someone to turn around and go. Oh, I, 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 I don't do that. I do it by post, and that seems to work quite well. Actually. Yeah. Gentlemen, this is a discussion for another day. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, we're yeah, 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 going to have you on. We're going to have you on here, like. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sit here? No, I'm all right. Um, I'm used to this thing between my legs now, if you excuse the expression. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I've never been yeah. cut off yet, so... Uh, <laughs> those pills are kicking yeah. in. We'll edit that part, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> right. Um, you were introduced, per se, it, to a, a, a website with Anglo Info. Of their idea and concept of what they yeah, wanted to do. Basically, when Wave FM, which was the last um, English language radio station, came to its end, then I had six months of doing absolutely nothing. I thought, oh my goodness, what are we mm. going to do now? Mm. Um, because obviously r record shop days are over and everything else. Um, so then I, you know, I, 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 was do I knew Anglo Info is was a, was a worldwide expat website thing, um, yeah. portal if you were, whatever you call these things. So he, he was leaving back to England because, you know, uh, for one reason or another, so I bought it off him. Um, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, and it's a, it's and, a and to explain quickly, Anglo Info was for expats. Yeah, it started off in France 20 years ago, 20 years ago or something like that, set up by two expats who wanted to put all the information relevant to expats living in a country in yeah. one place. Yeah. And then it spread into 140 different cities. Which is a good concept because if you lived, it's a bit like our channel here. If you live here, it's great because we're talking about what's on and what's coming up. Mm. If you live abroad, um, you know, you can ask questions like, you know, what's schools like? And what did it, who did it, what's it? Mm. So it, it, it was a very successful, uh, and I know the story of that, so very short. They changed their uh, OS to a mobile situation, right? Anglo Info. Uh, no, they, no, they unfortunately made a massive, massive mistake of um, re re redesigning the website because yeah. it was, wasn't a mobile For, yeah. friendly oh, right, website. Yeah. And they decided to do it, for some reason, cheaply in, in Malaysia. <laughs> and it never worked, and went a year later, completely bankrupt the country. And now they own four million. And they were good. Oh, and goodness. they were good. Wow. They were. I used to help Paul with the what's on. They they were good. But uh, so then Paul started. I thinking. saw the end. I saw the end coming. Yeah. Um, so I built my own website called Expats with the same concept. Yeah. Called now what's it Expats called? Expats in Bangkok. Expat. com. Okay, there will be a link on that. Yes. Can mm -hmm. we do that, Mister? Um, which is is pretty much the same, but it had lots, of, lots more features that Anglo Info never had. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. it's very group. But it basically supplies information um, in, our, in our directory session, so it's a section even. Yeah. So that, you know, if you want international schools or camping shops or where to send your kid, mm. horse lessons if you like, horse riding lessons, all those things are in our directory. But percentage wise, how many came over from Anglo Info to your site? Who? Clients or users? Advertisers, all of them, yeah, <laughs> all of them, um, so and decision. ones that I could never get, like the new site, so much they agree straight away. You mean and ones that you'd approach month. while working for Anglo Info, oh, yeah, only Anglo Info didn't, didn't want like it. certain things, or like your new version, one, like the new one, much better, and join so, straight away. See, in hindsight, does it make sense? But some people that are not entrepreneurial, Paul is, 
uh, just doesn't think that, but he saw it coming, and now it seems obvious. Well, if it's no, if th that's not working because it's badly done, I'll do the same for, mm. and, and he did it, mm. and it's success, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got to see the options he's with there. Yeah, but it's like you do, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. well, when opening yeah. A, a website, um, even you can apply this to Facebook as well, I guess. What is the? Uh, I'm going to throw that phone away if it goes off again. Could you take this? I thought it was off. Um, thought it was. I thought it was. Yeah. Fair enough. Take it. Facebook and web. No, we'll no, carry on. Don't cut it. No, no, there's a fly messing about. That's all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so websites and Facebook. It's, what are the tools necessary to be successful in that sort of segment? Tools. A tools, software. A very or good mouse and a very good keyboard and two big monitors in front so of your. In, in front of you. Software. 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 Well, everything's cloud-based, so I don't need any software on my. Well, you, there is, isn't there? About, about algorithms to get up on the Google listing and all but, that. Well, that's and SEO, and it's completely separate. That's what S SEO, search engine optimization. Well, he knows about that, right? Sure, he yes, does. I know about that. Um, uh, but uh, other people do that. I put my okay. You most programs have got a lot of built-in SEO in the back office that help that help that enormously. So, on your website, what's the viewership like? I mean, do you go by views or? Clicks. Yeah. It's not YouTube, is it? So um, not YouTube. No. Well, we no. go by users and page views, basically. But um, that, that can up and down massively. But as of we started on January the first, two thousand and seventeen, uh, and it's now what two thousand and nineteen, and we just went over because we have an in, independent counter on the bottom of the page, right? Which said we've now got we just hit over one million. One million page views, which in, in two years is not too bad. Oh, really. I'd have a piece of that. <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, at all. I mean, absolutely. Um, Expert, I mean, and all the. Now we're second year now. We, I try to sell my advertising packages for a year, and no one is not renewed. Well, one person hasn't renewed, and that's not So you go by idea. year. Well, isn't mm -hmm. that good to run a company that has years? I think you can't. Business. You can't. People say, can we do one month? It was pointless, you know. Yes, that's right. If you take yeah. over the old phone book theory, like the old yellow pages, you can't say to them, well, can I just be in there for a month? No. You're in there for that. No. But and who of course knows at what time yeah. of the year someone's going to pick up that old yellow page yeah. to look for a business. And what you charge per month isn't exuberant, no, so not it's not like 50,000 baht a month or something like that. No. no. Uh, what, what do the advertisers get from you? What do you give them? I mean, different well, packages. Should, obviously, let's, let's, let, let's say um, an international school. We have 160 international schools in there because that's how many there are in Bangkok. How in many? Thailand. Over 160 now qualified as international schools. When we come, when we arrived here, there was two, RAS and ISB. Yes. Okay, so it's 160 right. now. Yeah. Um, so the, the ones who want to stand out, who, who don't just have a name, and a phone number and a website. And once you want the full blown, get, you know, get a link through, full details, Facebook inter integration, Twitter integration, eight YouTube videos, and, and 14 pictures, and lots of other fancy gizmos and yeah, gadgets. Yeah. Have that on there, and they want to be on the top of that 163 list. So you pay, you get. So that's the, uh, that's, the uh, yeah. that's the Rolls Royce of. Yeah, that's kind of every, every directory website. How much would that be like a that? month? A year? A year? That's about, about 50,000 for a year, something see. like that. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's certainly reasonable. Yeah, but they probably get you two days in the Bangkok Post that's read by half a dozen people oh, and thrown Don't get me going on a 40,000 baht for a little. I know, I know. That backlink, to put that into perspective, uh, when you look at SEO, you have a thing called outreach, and uh, you think it just, it's defined as the, the, the best sites are sites that have uh, very high domain authority, right? Mm. So let's say so domain 100 was Google, yeah? So normally you're looking about 30, 40, 50 is the average will pay. That will normally cost somebody around about 150 UK pounds to go on that, yeah? Now what you're talking about here is something which is continuously changing, so the site is continually changing, mm. right? and you have a backlink, because when you go to these sites I was mentioning, you basically are, have an article and you have a backlink, and that backlink points to a page or something on your mm. site, and because that's high authority, Google says, well they're good, so mm. if that's on their site, that site must be really good. Mm. So what? you're getting is something where your your SEO is ongoing. You're getting that forever more, yeah. mm. not just the year, unless you take the article down or, or whatever it is. I, or, I, don't, I tend not to. I leave all my articles up. They just, you know, they so go back that, to that I mean, that's the beauty value. of articles. Yeah. They're there forever, forever right? Yeah. You know, like these shows that will be there forever. Yeah. I think the article. Yes, that, yes. Yeah. Even with my telephone in it. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to let you off. I think oh, the article yeah. we've got about work permits in Thailand is now into its 30,000 downloads or something like that, which isn't quite a lot. Yeah. 
Well, listen, Paul, it's been interesting. Um, I'm you. definitely you coming back because I've I've got about another twelve questions to ask because oh, yeah. the, the record industry was I found very interesting. I hope you guys did as well. But I'd like to thank you for the job. Good, well done so far. My pleasure, Cheers, indeed. My pleasure, my, my old mate. buddy in time. Okay. Yes, thank yeah, you very much for coming along. To okay. Andrew, you too. So that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, there's a red button up there now. They can yes, uh, yeah, you can just. Slap on that one and uh, excuse uh, me, yeah, just, uh, just press it. Yeah, just, just press it. it. Smash <laughs> it. I was trying to say, but I got <laughs> overcome with emulsion. So okay, there we go. Yeah, there we had to get that one in. Yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely. So uh, till the next time, uh, see you here. Yeah, press on the Bangkok red button. Chit -chat. Yeah, red button. Bangkok chit chat. Thank you.